You're from Autodesk, Autodesk right? That's right, yep. And we're at Maker Faire Detroit. Yep. And can you tell me uh, about 123 CAD? This is a real fascinating yep. new CAD package that is, is um, obviously from the looks of it here, yep. pretty kid friendly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so we started off with some of the very high end designer stuff like AutoCAD, uh, Maya, and Mudbox. Took it and tried to make it something simple that anyone can jump into at first. So all the way across it, we have a booth with information about our software. It's sent to a file format that you can then print. Yeah. So 3D printers can either do a laser cut. Yep. And it starts off looking like this. You okay. Can see all the hippos layered and numbered. Yep. All broken. So up. on this side they're just yes. layered, but on the other side the parts are actually numbered. numbered. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. See, I and see. The kits. It's all done by yep. laser. Okay. Um, the end product can also be made into a resin. So oh, if you nice. get a nice good shot, you can see the crack there. That's how thin each layer is. Oh. So if you're willing to put a little bit of money in, you can get a very high quality model of whatever you design. It's cool. anything you can think of. Okay. Anything you want to design or make. And then these are some other things here. Everything. So this is also laser cut, is that correct? Yes, that is laser cut. And you then can even see the pig. ridges that it made this? in the plastic. So this is um, paper, right? Yep. Like heavy paper, light yeah. like cardboard? Yeah. Okay. And then um, we have the <laughs> lovely decorating gorilla. Oh, my, that's that's amazing. amazing. I mean, the, the gorilla. Is yeah. Fine, so the, this is them. what you could do with it beyond After the um, cardboard. Yep. Okay. You can get right down to fine detail, so it's very Holy fragile. Cow. But that was just done by taking a single shape yep. and using a rotate. You should go one, two, three, four, five, six, and all the way around down. And then how was this 3D printed? Or? This was 3D printed. Okay. So this is again is another resin model. You have a little anchor, just like you would with a, a die cast. Yep. Where you have it to pull it out of the mold. Okay. Um, and what we're being doing today is having kids come in to get the concept that you don't have to have everything manufactured. You can think something. You can design it. You can build it and print it. That's great. So everything here is made from ideas right down to the products to something you can hold. So yeah. you can show people what you're thinking. And then there, there are pins, yes. uh, pinholes so that you can register them so that they all line yep. up, right? Exactly. Yep. And is there a tutorial for making this rhino or... And there's a hippo too, right? Essentially, we've just been walking them through it. So you pop it out of the cardboard yep. uh, pallet that we showed earlier in the video. There's an instruction sheet yes, over there. there is right an here. instruction sheet. Um, so that's just to give you an idea of which numbering to start, because again, everything does have its own little yep, card number, yeah. And the two represents how many pieces are in each layer. Oh, okay. And we're just having the, the, the main concept is that even a kid can put together a 3D model based on something that was designed. That's great. And they can hold it and take it home. So we're really trying to get that that early start to that creative thinking. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, and so um, it's a free download, is that correct? It's a free download, absolutely free. Um, you can find it actually a number of software. So if you guys start doing Apple products, iPads, whatnot, we have a lot of new free software coming out, and very soon we're going to have a touch based model that you can literally sculpt like you would, but on a screen. Uh, that's great. Really awesome. And it's pretty easy to learn? It is pretty easy to learn. I've had people as young as seven and eight in my user tests just yes. to see how they like it. And I mean, this is all a sort of reiterative process where we're trying to get kids to tell us what they like about it, what they don't like. Designers and engineers and hobbyists and makers, we are at the Maker Fair. Yeah. What do you like about our software? What should we do? What do you want to be able to do? And that's that's my job actually in Toronto. I'm not based in San Francisco. I'm not yeah. based in Detroit. I'm actually up north a little bit. And we're just sort of getting a feel for what people like and don't like. That's great. So the goal is to have it free, powerful, and precise. Almost as good as our high-end software, but free and easy to download and try. Yeah. And um, where can people find out more? Okay. Uh, here. You'll see a host of the free software we have. Something more like the Windows Soft, but on the other side, this is the software that you want to try. This is everything you so see was made one, two, in 123dapp.com. Uh, yep. Well, that's great. So, one all right. Shot. Well, thank you very much, Alex. Thank this you. is very exciting. It was nice meeting you.